You know the word Trinity is not to be found in any Bible in the world. The word Trinity, which is the bedrock of Christianity, is not to be found in any Bible, any version in the world. Can you imagine it? The foundation, like the Kalima. Can you imagine Allah is Allah? is Wahdaullah Sharik, he is one, and Muhammad is messenger, is not in the Quran, and yet we say we believe in it. No, it is in the Quran. But suppose it's not in the Quran. Okay, Allah is one, la ilaha illallah, there is no ilaha except Allah, and Muhammad is Rasulullah. If it is not in the Quran, and yet we believe in it, that's the foundation of our, our faith. His foundation is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Trinity, the word Trinity is not to be found in any Bible in the world. But amazing thing, it is in the Quran. Do you know that? The word Trinity is in the Quran. But it is a, a denial of it. It says, Allah says in the Quran about Trinity, He says, Wala takulu thalasa. Don't say Trinity. Don't say Trinity. In the lakum. This is stop it, it will be better for you. wahid. For your Allah is one Allah is not three in one, is not one in three. The word Trinity is in the Quran, but it says, don't say that. The strongest support that the Christian has for Trinity is a verse which Brother Jimmy Swaggart, he quotes in his book, in his book called, The Error of the Jesus Only Doctrine. It's another cult among the Christians. I didn't know about them until I read this. The Jesus Only Doctrine. In that he quotes the first epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. Where it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, do shahada in heaven, the Father, the Word, Word stands for Jesus, Kalima, Kalimatan, you know, Allah Bari Ta'ala gave His Word upon Mary, bestowed upon Mary, Kalima, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Clear statement about the Trinity is there. First epistle of John, chapter 5, verse 7. This is funny, you know, it's not in my Bible. It is not in my Bible. It's not here. Why is it not there? So, 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, they say this was another fabrication. This was another interpolation. This was another adulteration. So they threw it out without ceremony, not even a remark at the bottom to tell you what they have done. It's just out. It's not there. Look, you didn't do the job. We didn't do the job. We didn't tell the Christians, Walata Kulu Salasa. Nobody. As a matter of fact, some leading lights here, they're telling me, why are you telling all this to the Christians? Why don't you leave them alone? I don't want to take his name. I met him this morning. Very important person in your country. He said, what is all this Christian? Right? You're talking about Christianity, about the Bible, Bible, wasting time. Look at the Muslims, they're not perfect. <laughs> they're not, and they're not perfect. Wallah, we are not perfect. But I says, you know, you, my brother, you Arab, he's Arab. I said, you read the Quran. I says, you know, one third of the Quran is addressed to Jews and Christians. Do you know that? One third of the Quran is addressed to Jews and Christians. Ya Ahl al-Kitab, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, Ya Bani Israel, Ya Bani Israel. Who, you Bani Israel? You are Allah Kitab? Say no, Jews and Christians. Are you Jews and Christians? No. Allah says, Wala takulu salasa. Do you say Trinity? Do you? No. Who is he talking about? Salakat kafar al lazina kalu inna Allah wal masih ibn Maryam. Whosoever says that Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, is God is making kufar, is an act of blasphemy, is a treason against Allah. Waqal al masih But Christ said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, La'budullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, who is my Lord and your Lord. Innahu man yushrik billah, whoever will associate anyone with Allah, faqad harram Allah wa jannah, Allah will make jannah haram for them. Wa ma'abahu nar, and the fire of hell will be the dwelling place. Wa ma'alis zalimina min ansar, and for the wrongdoers there will be no one to help. Do you say that Jesus is God? Do you? No. One third of the Quran is addressed to Jews and Christians. So I said, you know you? He's an Arab. With apologies to my other Arab brothers. He's an Arab. I said, you know, all these verses must be taken out from the Quran and put into a museum. Don't you agree? If these are not to be used, then put it in a museum. Why are you making our Hafiz and Taris and everybody to waste their time reading it when it's not supposed to be used? Allah wants you to use it. He's crying, he's protesting, and you have done nothing. We have done nothing. 
Now if somebody comes along trying to do, <laughs> putting up a little act, <laughs> may Allah accept this, you know, to say, look, my brothers, this is what it is. Look, I'm showing it to you. I said, look, this is how easy it is to use it. It's there. They are giving them ammunition to you. Use it. So, without we protesting, we should have said, Wala takuru salasa, deliver the message to the West. Nothing doing. We didn't do it. We couldn't do it among the Arabs ourselves. Six million Coptic Christians in Egypt, they say salasa. Did you tell them, Wala takuru salasa? They say that Jesus is God. Did you tell them, Lakat kafar Allah zina kalu inna Allah wal masyib no maryam? Did you tell them, Wama kataluhu wama salabu? No, you're not doing it. They are doing it for you. They took it out. This was on the Trinity. They threw it out as an interpolation, adulteration, fabrication. Shouldn't we take off our hat to them? Shouldn't we? Great man. So I said, look, if this was the word of God, you couldn't have thrown it out. God would have protected his book. As he tells us, promises us in the Holy Quran, say, inna nahnu dhikra wa inna lahu that it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. This is his promise and he has done the job. He's protected his book. Here, everyone, seven books thrown out. Here, chunks and chunks are being thrown out. They are dragging their feet like cripples. I said, no, 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 brother, come. Ahlan wa sahlan. We are very good at that. We did it to the Jews for a thousand years. You know that? When there were pogroms against the Jews in Europe, in Poland, Germany, France, England, they were killing the Jews, murdering and raping their women and burning their homes. Every Easter, the Christians reminded themselves that these are Christ killers. They kill our God and they kill them. Burn their homes and rape their women. And they ran and they ran and they come to Muslim lands and the Muslims say, Ahlan wa Sahlan. Come. Most beautiful words of welcome. And they came and they lived with us for a thousand years. And in a thousand years, we didn't convert a thousand Jewish families to Islam. This is how good.